って書くと。Le Far West commence ici, là où soudain émergent des grandes prairies américaines, les mythiques rocheuses. Sur la route qui vient de Denver, la capitale du Colorado, voilà Boulder, niché au pied de la montagne, à 1600 mètres d'altitude. 100 000 habitants, 35 000 étudiants, beaucoup de sportifs et de doux rêveurs. Venu y vivre une vie en harmonie avec la nature. Do you define yourself as a hippie? No, I'm a Rastafarian. The days of Pearly Spencer. My name is Ben Pardo, and. I'm walking towards the city center, Pearl Street, and what we're doing is we've got these signs,、uh, and people see these signs, and what they do is they answer the questions, and then what we do is we ask them, "Would you like to share that on Facebook Live or YouTube Live or Twitter Live using our phone?" What happened was, was that after the last election, we saw how divided the country was, and the division of the, the dividedness of the country really、um, it, it, it struck a chord with me. And I, being the child of ex hippies, I, I really wanted to bring back the kind of idealism of the '60s. Ben, l'étudiant idéaliste, rêve d'une ville où l'on retrouverait l'esprit de partage et d'échange d'une époque que ses parents ont connue, le temps des hippies. Nowadays, there's way more people than there ever were back in the 70s or 60s, whatever,、uh, that were、uh, sharing that mindset. So nowadays, it's、uh, it's it's saturated and diluted because the world's much more complicated and more compact with with all the connectivity we have. So. No, I don't. I don't think it was more than. I just think it was new then. Good guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. De telles rencontres ne sont pas surprenantes dans cette ville qui semble vivre encore à l'heure des hippies, avec des habitants hauts en couleur, comme Brigitte et Betty. Brigitte est coach et enseigne la méditation. It seems that when you live in a beautiful place, you are inspired to be in harmony with nature and to take care of the planet and to、um, drive less and ride your bike more and to support organics because we vote with our dollars. So what we choose to buy helps to create the future that we want to live in. Betty se définit comme une artiste. Everything in our life can be toward a greater state of being, and that's why I'm here to connect with the people on the land. Une ville plutôt intello dans un environnement exceptionnel, c'est la recette que les hippies aiment ici depuis plus de 50 ans. I'm Sue Borman, and I am looking at files that have to do with the hippies. There's actual hippie files in this library <laughs> from the late 60s, early 70s. Documentariste, elle retrouve à la bibliothèque locale des photos de cette époque où de nombreux hippies venus de tous les États-Unis se retrouvaient dans la nature pour vivre une vie qui était alors considérée comme marginale. People say that it was、um, a good stopping place between the east and west coasts.、Uh, it was beautiful. There were places to camp. There were a lot of hippies camping in the woods.、Um, it, there was some tolerance.、Um, there was some tolerance for differences. So it was a, a stopping point. It was kind of a watering hole, and it also became its own destination after a while. 
Et dans cette ville universitaire, c'est la guerre du Vietnam qui a réveillé la jeunesse. Elle a beaucoup manifesté pour dénoncer les mensonges du président d'alors, Richard Nixon. Car aujourd'hui, Boulder est un de ces hauts lieux de l'opposition à Donald Trump. Dans la maison communautaire de Ben Pardo, on déteste ce président. Ce soir, c'est lui qui a préparé le repas et appelle à passer à table. Uh, so for tonight, we've got chili and we've got salad. There's also yogurt over there uh, if you want to put some of the yogurt in your chili. And um, that's it. <laughs> In terms of the, the hippie spirit, I would say that holding hands at a dinner circle would certainly qualify as that. Il y a un mot ici qui a une connotation très négative, la gentrification en anglais, en français, les bourgeois bohèmes, les bobos. I think a lot of gentrification actually comes from old hippies or people who identified as hippies who went on to gain a lot of resources and become materially successful, but still like holding on to that identity. Car aujourd'hui, Boulder est devenue une ville très chère, dont les maisons se négocient à un million de dollars minimum. On y vient pour la qualité de vie, un urbanisme raisonné dans un écrin de verdure au pied des montagnes. Yeah, welcome to my house. Come on in. Otis Taylor nous reçoit dans une de ses belles maisons. À bientôt 70 ans, il a connu cet âge d'or de Boulder quand beaucoup de musiciens venaient créer ici. Pitcher came from the King of Boulder, a band called Zephyr. I was just sitting in. I wasn't in the band. Tommy Bolin ended up playing with Deep Purple. Um, she came from Golden. He came from Detroit. He came from, I think, Sioux City. Tommy came from Sioux City. So all these people came from came into Boulder, you know? You know what I mean? They didn't. All these musicians were coming into Boulder at that time, between 68 and 71, 72. So this is pretty, this is me with my Indian jewelry, see? You know, you, you can't see it on the film, but my bag and my, my younger son says I look anorexic. I was <laughs> so skinny then. Le musicien de blues a vu sa ville devenir chic, chère et presque exclusivement blanche. Les plus pauvres sont priés d'aller vivre plus loin. This life is good if you're rich. You have no quality of life here because you can't afford to live here. So there's no quality for the work for the working class or the poor. There's very there's no, not enough housing. You know, we, we had a big flood and people had to come in from out of town to help us because a lot of firemen they can't live in Boulder. So we have a problem. They have that problem in Palo Alto too. It's just a problem of affluent places, you know. There's no poor people hardly in Beverly Hills either. So it's, Boulder's always been going like this. And then when they went <laughs> like that, like in, it's like in three years, the whole town has completely changed. Because Google came to Boulder, you know Google? Google vient de construire à Boulder et emploie déjà 1000 salariés. Mais si le géant de l'Internet s'est installé ici, ce n'est pas par hasard. Ville cool, verte, étudiante, et en plus, on y partage des valeurs et des modes de vie hérités des hippies. Boulder est le siège d'une université bouddhiste, Naropa, créée en 1974. On y étudie entre deux méditations. On y discute beaucoup en petits groupes. La pédagogie est progressiste en sciences humaines. Et quand il voit que ces méthodes entrent dans les plus grandes entreprises, 
son directeur a aujourd'hui l'impression d'avoir réussi le pari des hippies qui ont créé Naropa. Today, you have a situation where uh, business and entrepreneurship is actually leading in many areas uh, social change, which even 20 years ago was not a conversation that one would have. And so you look like a company like uh, Google or, or uh, Apple, and you go into those companies and people are talking about mindfulness practice and meditation practice and compassion training, not something that you expected to happen inside of the uh, environment of, of business and industry. Naropa has always been a place where we've wanted to explore that integration of all of those sectors. And so I think from that point of view, it's not paradoxical. We are probably ahead of our time. Ils ont réussi à s'imposer dans les plus grandes entreprises d'aujourd'hui. L'autre combat qu'ils ont gagné est celui de la légalisation du cannabis. Tous les 20 avril, les consommateurs se retrouvent avec la police pour fêter cette nouvelle liberté. À Denver, cela se passe au pied du Capitole du Colorado, là où la législation a été votée. En 2014, le Colorado était parmi les premiers États américains à autoriser l'usage médical et récréatif de la marijuana. The hippies definitely won. I think more people should be able to smoke the marijuana because, I mean, it makes us all good and feel happy. I actually told these guys I'm going to donate my body to science just so they know what somebody who smokes pot for them and their all their entire life. Because my organs are fine. And... While we're out here celebrating, let's not forget that a lot of our family are incarcerated down in hell for the same thing that we're here celebrating. So we want to hear that they're free of the thing! It's finally the hippies got their victory and, you know, it, it, it's going to prevail and it's going to be a mainstream business. Et l'organisateur de ce rassemblement sait qu'il faut déjà se préparer à la suite. Yeah, I think it, it's a matter of time. Uh, right now, it's not federal legal; it's only state legal. So once it becomes federal legal, you're going to see so many pharmaceutical companies, tobacco, alcohol companies that are going to be participating uh, in this industry. Car le cannabis n'est plus l'affaire de quelques hippies. Dans le Colorado, cela est devenu un secteur très dynamique de l'économie locale qui crée des emplois, génère des recettes fiscales et attire des touristes. Welcome to Terra Precaire Station. Uh, this is our Aurora facility. We have been growing here for three years now. We have a little over 3,000 plants in here. We harvest every two weeks. 216 lights. Uh, we have four grows. One medical, three recreational, five stores, I think. It is a very large growing uh, business in this state. Ils ont gagné la liberté de fumer. Leurs valeurs sont reconnues. Aujourd'hui, quels sont les combats des hippies de leurs enfants et petits-enfants. L'élection de Donald Trump les a confortés dans leurs convictions. Ils se replient dans leur bulle bobo, comme Boulder, mais souvent, l'actualité les rattrape, les réveille. Après la tuerie dans l'école de Parkland en Floride en janvier, les lycéens manifestent toujours pour réclamer à Washington un strict contrôle des armes à feu. 
federal law doesn't stop this proliferation of weapons on our streets and as we've seen time and time again in our schools. It is time for change. This is definitely a good representation of uh, the Boulder community um, because we really, just as a community, we like to come out and make change. Cela se passe devant la mairie, démocrate bien sûr, et l'une des adjointes est sortie de son bureau pour les soutenir. They carry the heritage of my parents. I think the, the, the people that were revolutionized and radicalized in the 60s, who stood up for peace and stood, stood up against the war, these, these are uh, the next generation. That gives me hope for the future, because if they don't back down, I think we're going to see change, change around gun violence, obviously change around pollution, energy extraction. So this gathering gives me a lot of hope. I appreciate their energy, their commitment, their eloquence and their tenacity. So more power to them. Car ce qui les oppose aussi à Donald Trump et les rassemble aujourd'hui, c'est l'environnement. Leur responsabilité dans le changement climatique, leur place en tant qu'Américains, voilà leur combat en 2018. À Boulder, c'est d'abord la résistance à l'extraction du gaz de schiste qui mobilise. Tout autour du comté de Boulder, des puits sont sortis de terre. So this is a fracking site. This is actually, at the time this was built, it was considered a pretty large site. But I believe there are six wells here. And so they drill down quite a few, like over a thousand feet, and then they go horizontally. And if they get a leak, they contaminate our whole reservoir. Des habitants comme Cowen Dyke ont pris la tête de la résistance face aux intérêts des compagnies pétrolières défendues à Washington par Donald Trump. It's difficult for Boulder to remain their green bubble, and with our president undermining so many rules that were put there by our environmental protection agency. Many of those had already been overturned because of the power of the oil and gas industry. Uh, but at the same time that rules are being overturned, uh, there are more and more people saying no. L'opposition au pouvoir, l'affirmation de ses valeurs, le choix d'une vie proche de la nature, voilà qui rappelle encore le temps des hippies. À quelques miles de Boulder, dans les Rocheuses, certains se sont bien embourgeoisés, comme Dot et Byron Fields. Hello. Welcome to Bliss Canyon. Here in Bliss Canyon, we have a spectacular life. We live totally off grid. We have a wonderful stream running right down at the bottom of the canyon here. We have a beautiful log home surrounded by 400 acres of national forest. Our neighbors are elk, bear, moose, and fox. Living close to nature, respecting nature, and uh, living sustainably is everything that we believe in. Um, I grew up as a young hippie myself, uh, lived, growing up in a sort of a suburb of New York City. And so the alternative culture is very much how I grew up. Um, and this is an alternative culture as well. Leur passé hippie, ils en sont fiers et l'assument. Mais comme ils ont la tête sur les épaules et doivent encore gagner leur vie pour payer ce petit bout de paradis, ils se sont lancés dans un business politiquement correct dans la banlieue de Boulder. Okay. Here we are at Simplicity Tiny Homes Workshop, where we build tiny homes on wheels. We're selling homes for 60 to 100 thousand dollars, and not use near as many resources to build it, not use as many fossil fuels to heat it and make it so it's more affordable so you can actually have a life instead of being a slave to the great American dollar. Ces dimanches, une de leurs clientes a organisé une open house party, une tradition bien américaine où l'on doit forcément s'extasier en découvrant la nouvelle maison de son hôte. Hi, honey. Hi. Mm. Nice to see you. Welcome to our home. It's looking Now really homey. Home. <laughs> Gotta see inside. I haven't gone inside yet. Okay, yeah. go see. Okay. okay. I want you to see. Le couple travaille chez Google et pourrait se payer une vraie maison. For us, this is 
about the simplicity of life and not having so much financial burden that you, you know, need to follow the traditional path and, and that you're restricted by it. So I hope this becomes more Americans' dreams, um, that they can, they can live in this way and be close to nature and enjoy it. But I think that's for each person to, to determine. Thanks to the hippies. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with hippies. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Comme si aujourd'hui tout le monde se réclamait de la culture hippie, pourtant très mal vue il y a 50 ans. Peut-être parce que les hippies sont entrés dans le rang. Tous, il reste quelques endroits encore rebelles, comme le petit village de Ward, qui semble incroyable dans un pays aussi aseptisé. Des carcasses de voitures, d'improbables œuvres d'art, le temps semble s'être arrêté. This town is, is only for people who really know what like true freedom is. So I think most of our country wouldn't be comfortable here. I don't know if it's really hippie life. It's, it's definitely a pretty radical place. The folks in Boulder, they decided at one point to join back into the society. And whereas the people that came up here, they kind of dropped out and never got back in. Much more of a communal life up here. So there's a big difference. Lots of hippies, but they are very libertarian. They like their guns up here. You know, they like their freedom. They don't like rules and the such. Hippie is like a peace-loving, and I'm not saying we aren't, but uh, we're more like peace-loving warriors. Here. The spirit of the people here, are, you know, taking care of yourself and taking care of each other, small community. Everybody, everybody knows everybody. Yeah, everybody knows everybody. And, um, you know, there's hippies all over. There's hippies down there. There's hippies up here in Netherlands. It's all, you know, it's a great place. There's so many uh, more conscious minded people in Colorado. No, I think the end of the world is down there in the city where Trump is and all those people. That's the end of the world. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va? That's Ward's newest hippie. Seven weeks old. Here's a song about Woodstock. You know, Woodstock, the music festival, 1969. Here's one I wrote on the 40th anniversary. Avec Donald Trump à la Maison Blanche, ils ont beaucoup perdu. Mais malgré cette défaite, en 50 ans, les hippies ont tout de même réussi à infuser leurs valeurs dans la société américaine. Mmh. 